So, hello to everybody uh, tonight for another Explorers Club. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in and watching uh, for another Tuesday night. So glad that you're able to be here. I hope you've had a good day. hope you've had a good week since last uh, we have been able to meet like this. So we're going to sing again tonight. We're going to learn our memory verse and we're going to see all those colouring pictures that everybody has sent in and also listen uh, to all the videos that everybody has sent in as well of their memory verses. Well done to everybody. Uh, such an encouragement to see all those who keep sending their memory verses in and also those who keep sending in their colouring pictures. So thank you for that. So we're going to start off tonight uh, with our first chorus. This chorus that we sang way back, um, I think we're at the very start, uh, for God so loved the world, uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. It's based on the words of John 3:16, that wonderful text, great text of scripture that tells us about the love of God. Okay, so let's hear you sing your very best. With a smile, okay? For God so loved the world, God so loved the world, God so loved the world, He gave His only Son, that whosoever believed in Him, in Him, should not perish but have eternal life. Now, I hope you were singing your very best. Were you? Everybody singing your best at home? Yeah? Mums and dads, grannies and grandmas, were you singing your best? Maybe you could do a wee bit better? I think you could, maybe, on this next one. Don't forget, get your comments in as well. Who Who's watching us tonight? Where you're watching us from? And get those in, and we'll read those out then in a wee moment. We're going to go on to our next one. This tells us uh, that everybody ought to know who Jesus is is in our story tonight it's based on a man by the name of philip and he went and he told people about the lord jesus christ who he was that he was the son of god and that he was the savior from sin and that should be what we do as well boys and girls if we're saved mums and dads as well if we're saved to tell others about the lord jesus christ everybody ought to know who jesus is all right so let's hear you really sing your best okay ready Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know. Can you sing it a bit louder? Everybody ought to know. Who Jesus is. I'm back to the start. Everybody ought to know.
Well done, as you can hear um, Isaac's in very good singing voice tonight. So here we have some who are uh, watching tonight. Now what I'm going to do now, um, and throughout the, uh, the club as I remember, you know that next week is our last club, uh, our last Explorers Club. That will be 13 weeks all together that we've been with you every third, every Tuesday night. And next Tuesday night will be the last one. So what we want you to do as well as sending in your memory verse from this week and your colouring page from this week. We also want you to send in if there's a favourite chorus that you want us to do next Tuesday night. All right. We'll try to get as many in as possible. But I'm going to ask you if you could get them into us even tonight if possible, but even before Friday. OK, if you want a favourite chorus for next Tuesday night, you can get it into us before Friday. Then that'll give us a bit more time to get everything um, sorted out along with the memory verses and colouring pages. So if you've got a favourite chorus, you even put it into the comments section tonight and we'll take a note of it and we'll keep a note of it uh, for next Tuesday and we'll get it all next Tuesday. So we've got Anne and Ronnie uh, tonight. We've got Daniel and Joshua in from Randallstown. We've got Abigail. Uh, watching in from Port Lanome. We've got David, David Henderson, who's watching and listening again tonight. We've got the Knowles family from Lewis. We've got Lily and Bethany. We've got Irene. We've got Eliza from Newton Arts. We've got Julia from Sainfield. <coughs> We've got Caroline. We've got Leila, Sandy and Milo from Corridor. We've got Ezra and Elijah. We've got Eric and Joanne. We've got Richard and Helen. We've got Isaac and Micah, we've got Granny and Granda Hannah and Matthew, we've got Faith and Noah, Grace and Anna, Francis Waters, we've got Auntie Ruth, we've got Laura from Dungannon and we've got Lily and Grace and we've got Ruby uh, as well watching in tonight. So that's great, good to see you. Make sure, keep getting your, your comments in, get your names in there, let us know where you're watching from and if there's a favourite chorus that you want us uh, to play next week, then you've got to get it into us tonight if you can, but certainly before Friday, and that will give us a wee bit of time to get the programme ready for next Tuesday night, which will be our last Explorers Club. Okay, so let's go on to another chorus. Rolled away, rolled away, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. Okay? That's great to hear you sing. How about getting up on your feet this time? Okay? Rolled away, rolled away, rolled away. Right now, this time we need everybody up on your feet, okay? So, I'm not going to start until everybody is up on their feet, alright? Doesn't matter what age you are, you can't sing this chorus sitting down, alright? So this is a good action chorus, uh, get us all livened up a wee bit, alright? You all on your feet? Right, so, I may never march with the infantry, ride with the cavalry, shoot the artillery, I may never zoom or the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Okay, are we all ready to march and walk and zoom and all the rest of it? Okay, let's... 
Maybe you sink your pants and do your options. I may never march in the infantry, ride with the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never sue for the enemy, for I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride with the cavalry. singing. Now, something else that we would love you to do, we'd love as many photographs of you taking part, your family, yourself, doesn't matter what age you are, doesn't matter whether you're a young explorer or maybe maybe not so young, doesn't matter what age you are, we'd love you to take photographs and send them in to us. My number uh, is there on, on the screen to send them in, WhatsApp them in to me and we'll put them up next week as well. We'd love just to get this final one as interactive as possible and see how you uh, are enjoying Explorers Club at home as well. So we're going to do that one again, all right? So we're going to sing this chorus again. So if there's somebody else there, make sure they take a photograph of you and get it sent in. We'd love as many photographs of you doing the actions and enjoying the club as possible and uh, we'll get them on for next week. Okay, so we're all ready, okay? Standing up. Already, camera's poised, uh, ready to take a few shots, and let's hear you sing this one again. Okay, ready? Sing, do the actions, and get your photographs. Fantastic. I may never march in the infantry, ride with the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never sue for the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Well done, excellent singing. Have we any more names there? We have got Alice, good. I've got Alice Kennedy listening, and we've got Joshua, Lydia, and Nathan from Armagh uh, listening as well. Really good to have you all in tonight. So, if you've got a favourite chorus that you want us to do next week, then you get it into us tonight. Put it in the comments section, we'll take a note of it, and we'll have it then for next week. Tuesday night. Okay, let's boys, let's every boy and girl, mum and dad, everybody, let's be nice and quiet. Shh, nice and quiet because we're going to talk to God. And when we talk to God, we do our ABC. Remember, we have our arms folded, but B, bow our heads, and C, close our eyes because we're coming to talk to God. Our God, we thank thee for being with us another Tuesday and for bringing us to another Explorers Club tonight 
thank the Lord for your good hand upon all the boys and girls throughout another week and watching over them, keep them safe. Oh God, we pray that you'll continue to be with them, help them Lord at school, help them Lord with their schoolwork and Lord just help them Lord in what are difficult and uh, hard times for them. We just pray Lord that they'll know great help Lord even as they would tr uh, seek to learn and Lord be taught even in, in a different way. Our Father, we pray you remember all of the mums and dads. We thank the Lord for them. Thank the Lord for the encouragement that they are to the children and even getting their children to watch uh, the Explorers Club every week and seeking to teach them and instruct them in the things of God. Just, Lord, we thank thee for Christian parents. We thank the Lord for those that have a concern for their children and to bring them up in the fear and the nurture of the Lord. We pray, Lord, to be pleased to bless Christian homes. Keep your hand upon them all we pray and lord keep us all close to thee in these days remember lord all who are watching tonight keep your hand upon us all watch over us we thank the lord even for being with us and we just pray lord to continue uh, to bless every boy and girl and everyone who's watching tonight remember maybe those who are not well tonight remember uh, lord ebony again tonight just keep your hand upon her and just be very near to her and lord we just pray you'll heal her and touch her in her body at this time we pray and other boys and girls that are that are not well we just pray that you'll be with them help them oh god we pray remember those who are sick in hospital tonight or remember those who have got this virus this bad bug lord we just pray that you'll heal them touch them and lord even may it be a time when you bring them to the lord jesus christ that they would think about the savior and that they would call upon me and we thank the lord tonight that no matter what age we are, we are and no matter where we are in life we thank the Lord that if we call upon the name of the Lord, that you will save. And Lord, we pray that even tonight, maybe some young person, older person as well, who's listening to the club, may they call upon the name of the Lord, even tonight. Save someone, we pray in Saviour's name we ask. Amen. Amen. So, we go to our uh, colouring in pages, and thank you again to all those who send in their colouring in pages. Really, really good. Lovely to see them coming in. Every week we've got Alora, uh, and she has coloured in from last week's story about uh, Mephibosheth and David, and Mephibosheth going to, to meet King David, and we thank Alora for colouring that in. Do you remember uh, Alora's uh, bigger sister, Ebony? Ebony was back to the doctor today, and it looks like she's going to have to be uh, kept in hospital uh, for a wee while, so we want you to remember Ebony. Remember she had a, an accident a few weeks ago, so we want you to remember that. Uh, I'm getting a message here. Oh, Ebony's watching from Craig Alvin. Oh, great. Great. And there's a... Oh, yes. Thank you for all, all your prayers. Uh, this is life, <laughs> as you can see. So, uh, Ebony's watching us from Craig Alvin tonight. God bless you, Ebony. Uh, pray that the Lord keeps his hand upon you and heals you and clears up uh, the leg and, and all of those wounds and bruises and uh, be with you at this time. We're all praying for you. And pray the Lord bless you all, and Julie and Roger and all the family at this time. <coughs> so we've got Alora. Uh, thank you for that. Then we've got Eliza. Eliza's again another excellent colouring in again. As everybody does, you're excellent at colouring in. Everybody really, really good. And here is Anna. Anna Briggs with her picture. Again, so well coloured and just so beautifully coloured as well. And you all know what sort of colours to put together and all the rest. Well done, fantastic. And here is Grace. And lovely big smiles, of course, and on the girls as well, always, every week. And that's really good. Well done, Grace. And here we've got Faith. Faith McKee. And Faith's only two. It doesn't matter what age you are. You can still watch Explorers. Okay, and Faith's only two. And she's holding up the memory verse from last week. That's really good, Faith. Thank you so much. Uh, and the Lord bless you for that. Thank you. And then we've got Eliana. I'm not quite sure if I've got Eliana's right age. Uh, possibly not. But El Eliana sent us in this picture um, of the trees in the Bible. So that's excellent colouring in, Eliana. Well done. Fantastic. Thank you. And um, we've got Isaac then. Isaac Hanna. And he has sent in his colouring in page again. Well done, Isaac. That's great. Keep, a, keep that up. And Lily. And Lily, remember, is only two. And look at this fantastic colouring in. Uh, that she's done really really good fantastic Lily good thank you for sending them in uh, every week to us and then we've got Irene uh, Irene Coates uh, 
Andy Eyring, Granny Eyring, uh, who's age 21 plus. Um, look at this fantastic colouring in. Really neat, so neatly done again and so detailed. Very, very good, Eyring. Well done. Thank you so much. And then we've got Daniel. Daniel sent his in again this week. Well done, Daniel. That's great. Thank you so much again. And we've got Joshua. And he has coloured in his picture as well of David and the Fibisha. That's really well done. Well done, boys. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we go to uh, the, the videos and we listen to your, your memory verses, um, Rachel. So, sorry. <laughs> so we have to... Um, don't put any more comments in just for a wee second. Uh, or don't put any courses in just for a wee second in case we miss it because we're going to listen to uh, the, the memory verses and first up here we have oh Joshua Joshua saying his memory verse and just hope we've got the, the sound on watch watch you go from this <laughs> Nope. It was working uh, before and it's not going to work just now, but we're going to get it, don't worry. We will, we'll get it sorted. So we'll, we'll see if we can get it going this time. Nope. Okay, we'll try, we'll try, and uh, maybe Daniel, I think Daniel's up next. Let's see if we've got any sound from Daniel. No, no, we may just revert back to the, um, just give us a wee second. Let's play a wee uh, hymn and we'll get that going. If you just give us a wee second, it's on the USB. Yeah, we'll just cl close that over there and one wee second, listen to this and we'll be back with you, sorry. Very good, excellent. And uh, then we have got big brother Daniel, and he's saying his verse for us now. And these boys are always in their superhero costumes. Well done. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Well done, Daniel. That's fantastic. I know it's not just important to uh, learn our memory verses, but it's to, important to remember all that our memory verses uh, tell us and teach us all what they're telling us um, and what the Word of God teaches us, that we can only do things through the Lord Jesus Christ as he gives us help. So we've got Grace. Grace Morrison is going to say hers for us now. It's all right. Yep, yeah, there we are. We've got Grace now. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ's which strengthens me. Well done. That was a hard enough verse uh, last week, so very good um, to all those who did it. I think we have to go back just to the... Yeah, just just to hear, just to these ones, they're not, they're not going to work. Oh, sorry. Right. Okay, we'll just go back to the Bible. Okay, 
So well done, Grace. What about, could you maybe play us a wee tune on the piano? Maybe your mummy could video, maybe, I presume you do play the piano there? Yeah, if you would like to play us a wee hymn or a chorus or something on the piano and send it in to us, that'll be good as well for next for next Tuesday night. Okay, here's Micah, uh, Micah Saunders. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ that strengtheneth me. Well done, Micah, fantastic. I love your accent, Micah. That's cool. Well done. Keep up. Uh, that good learn well done so now we've got uh, young Josiah uh, from Lewis and Josiah is going to tell us his memory verse one the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me well done uh, Josiah very good I think that was your daddy there at the start um, maybe you forgot to say two, but anyway, that was great. Well done. Uh, very good, Josiah. So here we have got Anna. Uh, Anna Briggs, and let's listen to Anna say her memory verse. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ with faithfulness me. Well done. Fantastic. Anna, that is so good, uh, such excellent learning. Um, here is Grace, and she's going to say her memory verse. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Well done, fantastic, Grace. Excellent, very well done. And here is Lily. Lily's going to say her, her verse. Remember, Lily's only three, but she learns it so well. Bible said, the Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I. Oh, thank you. Christ is friend of me. Fantastic. Lily did the actions as well there. Well done, Lily. That's just brilliant. And here is now Eliza, and Eliza is going to say her verse for us with a big smile as well. Let's listen to Eliza. The Bible says in Philippians chapter four verse thirteen, and your things through Christ is strength of me. Fantastic! Well done. It's really well done. So yes, we've got uh, Isaac now. Isaac, Hannah, and Isaac's all dressed up. Isaac was recording his bit for online Sunday school. That reminds me, uh, this Sunday uh, we have our special Children's Day uh, going out on at half past 11 on Sunday morning, half past 6 as well on Sunday night. So you're welcome to, to tune in. Please don't uh, not tune into your own church. Watch your own church. Uh, but if you don't have a church to watch, then you'd be welcome to tune in. Uh, to our online children's day on Sunday at half eleven and then a youth service at half six. So Isaac was recording uh, his for his children's day and he's looking very, very smart. So let's hear Isaac saying his verse. The Bible says in Philippians chapter four verse thirteen. I can do all things Christ, that's to me. Fantastic, and Isaac's doing, doing the actions there as well. Very, very well done. And who else have we got? Then we've got Abigail. So we have to close down the other ones and open up uh, the one that we should have. There we go. Here, listen to Abigail. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse, verse 10. I can do all things through Christ which led me of mine. Fantastic, Abigail. Well done. So well done. You are all so good at all of this. And we've got, uh, yes, we've got uh, Faith, who I missed out last week. Faith sent in hers for this week. Uh, Faith McCullough from Lurgan. And we're going to listen to last week's memory verse and then the week before as well. Let's listen to the Faith. Bi uh the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 uh, I, I can do all things through Christ 
which second of May. Fantastic. Well done, Faith. And then this is the one that I forgot uh, to do last week uh, of the previous week's verse. So listen to Faith doing the memory verse from the week before. Well done, Faith. Very good. Fantastic. Uh, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 uh, For by grace are, are you saved through faith Fantastic faith, well done, excellent, really really well done Thank you to all who have sent in their, their memory verses again this week. So Isaac, Isaac's going to come up and he well, he wants to say um, his. He's very brave uh, tonight. What to do for all. Okay. So we go after two. One, two. Look, look into the camera. Don't, 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 don't look to me. One, two. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Good man. Well done. Thank you very much, Isaac. Okay, so here is our memory verse uh, for this week. It's found in the book of 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 5 and the verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All right, you say all that together. Uh, after two, the Bible says one, two. The Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Okay, let's do it again, but a bit louder this time. After two, one, two. The Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Now, what's that verse telling us? It talks about being in Christ. What's that mean? Well, you see, the Bible tells us that we were all born in sin. We were all born with that black heart that makes us do those bad things, makes us say those bad things that we shouldn't say. It's, that's because we're all born with sin. We're all born in sin. But the Bible says that if you ask Jesus Christ into your heart to wash away your sin, then you're taken out of your sin and you're put in Christ. And therefore there's no more sin. And if you're in Christ, you're a new creature. It doesn't mean you're totally different. It doesn't mean that you become a, a total, another person altogether. But it means that the Lord has saved you from the inside out. And people notice a change. And you boys and girls, if you're saved, people should notice something different about you. That goes for mums and dads as well and older people. If we're saved, people should know that there's something different about us. They should know that we're new creatures in Christ. That when God saves us through the Lord Jesus Christ, that we're different. That we're new. That we're not like everybody else. That we don't do the things that other people do. We don't say the things that other people say or go, don't go the places that other people go. They see a difference in the way we live. So let's do it one more time before we break it up a wee bit. So after two, one, two. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Fantastic. Now, uh, we're going to do something here. This is what we do sometimes on a Tuesday night in Explorers. And uh, we're going to do our best. If you come over here beside me, Isaac, that's it. Good man. Okay. So, what we're going to do, every time you see the word, the black words, we're going to clap. Okay. And every time you see the words in red, we're going to put our hands in the air. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to get Pentecostal or anything, just put your hands in the air. All right? So if you see the words that are in black, you clap, say it as well. And the words that are in red, you put your hands in the air. All right? Okay. So watch as I get confused in all of this and lead everybody astray. So you do it the right way and don't be looking to me. All right? So after two, one, two. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Verse 17, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he
He is a new creature. Very good. Well done. Okay. Let's try that again. Maybe a wee bit quicker. After two, one, two. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Okay. We'll do a wee bit faster. Ready? After two, one, two. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. What happened to you? <laughs> Did you get lost? Right, let's, let's try it again. Okay, after two. So we clap on the black and we put our hands, hands in the air uh, for the red. After two, one, two. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ... He is a new creature. Very good. Well done. Okay, so let's try one more time just without everything. And let's see how we get on. So just send it straight through. After two, one, two. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Well done. Boys and girls, excellent. So that's the verse that we want you to learn for next week. That's the verse that we want you to send in uh, for next week. And uh, then we'll get the colouring page up as well. So let's do one more uh, chorus before we come to our memory verse. Okay. Praise him, praise him. Praise him, praise him, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you very much, Isaac, for all your help tonight and all your great singing. Okay, so you're all sitting up very well now. We're coming to uh, the story. All right, need you to sit up. We've got a packet of uh, sour snakes for you uh, to keep you going while the story is uh, going on. After two, one, two. There we go. And a bar of whisper. All right. And after two, one, two. Fantastic. Well done. Remember, for those who pull, uh, put in their colouring page and their memory verse, you'll get a special prize as well. So uh, you get those uh, in for next week. That's your last chance uh, to get all of that in. Okay, so we all sitting up nice and well, nice and quiet. And we're going to hear our story for tonight. Philip couldn't understand. He was preaching there in, in Samaria and he was preaching about the Lord Jesus Christ and he was telling people about the Lord Jesus Christ and, and people were being saved and, and, and he, could, he saw lots of things being done for the Lord but he couldn't understand because God had said to him, I want you to leave there and I, and I want you to leave Samaria and I want you to go to a place that's away in the wilderness, it's between Jerusalem and Gaza, it's a bit of a desert, there's really not very much there. And Philip says, but why? Why God? I, I'm preaching to all these people and, and there's people being saved and he couldn't understand it but he did what the Lord told him to do. And he went to that place away in the wilderness, away in the desert because God had someone that needed to be told about the gospel. Remember Philip? He was preaching there in Samaria. Lots of people hearing about the gospel but 
there was someone else and they needed to hear about the gospel. There was someone that Philip needed to speak to. Now we don't know this man's name, but we're told that he was from the land of Ethiopia. We're told that he was a eunuch. He was the treasurer. He kept all the, the, the money of that land and the, of the royal family. So he was a very important man. But you see, he was a man who had a concern about his soul. He was a man that needed to be told about the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and God sent Philip there, to, away from Samaria, away from all the crowds of people, away to this desert place, to tell this man about the gospel. And you know, boys and girls, that's a wonderful thought, that, boy, that the Lord loves people like you and me. You know, sometimes we think God's only interested in the big crowds and all the hundreds and thousands of people. God's interested in the individual. God's interested in you. God wants to save you. If you're not saved, God wants to save you. And if you are saved, God has a plan for you, for your life, just as he had for Philip. And for Philip, it was to leave Samaria and it was to go and to tell this man about the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the problem with this man, the problem with all of us, was that he was born with a heart that was black. Black with sin. A heart, a heart that was away from God and, and turned away from God. A, a heart that didn't love God and that was going to be that sin that was going to keep that man from Ethiopia out of heaven. And boys and girls, that's why we come every week and you go to Sunday school whenever it's on and children's meetings whenever they're on to hear about the good news of the gospel. Because just like that man, you and I, we all have hearts that are black with sin. We were all born in sin. And we need to be told the great message, the glorious message of the gospel that Jesus Christ came to save us from our sin. Because sin will keep us out of heaven. But anyway, this man, he was sitting in his chariot and he was reading a scroll. He was reading a book, but this just wasn't any other book or any ordinary book that he was reading. This was the Bible. Now he didn't have the whole Bible like we have today and he didn't have it like we have it in uh, different colours and in different sizes and different backs. He had it on a scroll and he was reading. And the part that he was reading from was one of the prophets. It was called, or the prophet's name was Isaiah. And he was reading from Isaiah chapter 53 and the verse 7. And listen to what the place of the scripture was that he read from. It says, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and as a lamb dumb before his shearer. So opened he not his mouth. And there that man from Ethiopia, he, he was reading there about someone being brought as a lamb and being brought before her shearers and, and he was dumb. He, he couldn't open his mouth and he didn't understand what this was. But he was interested. He needed someone to explain God's word. You boys and girls, that's what the gospel needs today. We need to tell the gospel. We need to explain the gospel. And I know that's the role of, of preachers and evangelists and Sunday school teachers. But you know, we can do that as well. We can tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. We can tell them that they need to be saved. And we can tell them, you can witness to your friends about Jesus Christ. Because maybe there's someone and you're friendly with them, maybe in your school class or maybe beside you where you live. and They would just love to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ. Why don't you go and tell them? Go and tell them that the Lord loves them. The Lord wants to save them. And it was to this man that Philip was sent. And so Philip saw him. He'd left Samaria now and he didn't really know where he was going but he was led by God and he left Samaria and he saw this man in his chariot and he went over to him and he says, Oh, what are you reading? And the man said where he was reading from. He was reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53 and the verse 7. And 
Philip, of course, knew that. And how he talked about the Lord Jesus Christ going to the cross. And, and, and he said to the man, do you understand what that means? Do you understand what, what you're reading? And, and the man says, no, I don't. I need someone to explain it to me. Oh, what an opening. There was Philip wondering, what was all this about? He, had to, he was told to leave Samaria and all the crowds of the people and, and he couldn't understand it. And now he did understand. Because here the Lord was bringing him to tell another person about the gospel. You know, boys and girls, sometimes we don't understand why things happen in the way they do. But God always has a plan. God always has a purpose in them. And God brought Philip away from the city of Samaria, away into the uh, back end of nowhere. Just wilderness and deserts. Very few people there. And God at this man, reading the scriptures, and he had an interest to learn more. So what did Philip do? Well, he did what every, anybody should have done. And he got up into the chariot and he started to explain the Bible. He started to tell this man about another man called the Lord Jesus Christ. He started to tell this man about the one who died on the cross. The one who bad, man, bad men took and beat and spat upon and placed a crown of thorns and Oh, he was placed before all different trials and yet he never opened his mouth. He never made any accusation. And he talked about the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible describes him as the Lamb of God. And he talks about how that the Lord Jesus Christ then was taken to a cross and that he was nailed to a cross and that the soldiers put a crown of thorns upon his head and how that they split open his side with a spear. And how that the Lord Jesus Christ died. And how that the whole earth became black and dark. And how that during those hours of darkness. The Lord Jesus Christ paid for the sins of all those. Who would come and believe and trust in Jesus Christ as their saviour. Wow. Wow, someone loved me so much that he went to a cross and he died for me. Wow, this man couldn't believe it. He'd never heard this message before. And Philip told him about the Lord Jesus Christ. Philip pointed him to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that day, that day, that man realized he was a sinner. Realised that Jesus Christ was his only saviour. And that day he asked Jesus Christ into his heart to be a saviour. That day he became a new creature. Remember he was no longer in sin. He asked Jesus Christ into his heart to take away his sin. He was now in Christ. And he was a new creature. That was a wonderful day for this man. You know he didn't realize what was going to happen to him that day he, he didn't think that he was going to get up that day and be saved he didn't even know what saved meant but God brought Philip his way and told him about the Lord Jesus Christ boys and girls older people if we're saved we should tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ and if you're not saved the greatest day in your life will be the day when you ask Jesus Christ into your heart and that can be this day this can, very day, today, tonight, you can ask Jesus Christ into your heart to be your saviour. Just like this man. Realise that Jesus died on the cross to take away your sin, to make you ready for heaven. I wonder tonight, will you ask Jesus Christ into your heart? Well, this man realised that he was now a Christian. He realised that he, he was now saved. And... and they moved on a wee bit in their chariot and they saw a pool of water and, and he said to Philip, well oh, there's some water, I would need to be baptised. Now baptism didn't make him a Christian. He was saved before he was baptised and you know, baptism doesn't make anybody a Christian. Baptism, the waters of baptism do not wash away the sins of anybody. 
But because he was a Christian, he realised that baptism was one of the things that the Lord laid down for all those who trust him and believe in him. This was a sign. This was a sign to everybody. This was a sign to the man who rode in the chariot. This was a sign, I'm Christian now. I'm different now. And that day he was baptised. Because that day he was saved. What a wonderful day. What an entirely different day. A happy day for him. The day he asked Jesus Christ into his heart to be his saviour. Boys and girls, the Lord Jesus Christ can turn your life around as well. The Lord Jesus Christ can take away the blackness of your sin and make you ready for heaven. And he can do it today. I wonder if you're not saved. I wonder would you even ask Jesus into your heart? Even wherever you are tonight, would you just say, Lord, I'm sorry for my sin and I want you to come in Take my sin away and save me. And the promise of the gospel is he will save you. One of those verses we learned a number of weeks back. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I wonder will you be saved tonight? Wouldn't it be wonderful tonight if you were to ask Jesus Christ into your heart? You can do that. You can do it now. And if you have, if you have done that, why not let us know? get a message to us and if you want to speak to us you let us know as well what a wonderful day it would be if you were to ask Jesus Christ into your heart tonight let's bow in prayer Father and our God we thank you for the story of this man and Lord for the change we thank you Lord for how you used Philip and how you spoke to him and how you led him and Lord we pray that even tonight that you be pleased to speak to boys and girls to older people as well that they would ask the Lord Jesus Christ into their hearts. And Lord, for any who still not see it, Lord, may this be the day of their salvation. Lord, for older people, mums and dads, maybe grannies and grandas, and others watching in, Lord, we pray, save them this night. Make them a new creature. For the name of Christ we ask all of these things. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you so much for being with us uh, tonight I've got a message here. Oh yes, uh, Ollie. Ollie Bannister is two. You're two today. Fantastic, Ollie. Fantastic. That is great. Uh, of course, that's one of our we explorers at Sandown. And his mummy Lindsay is one of our uh, workers and leaders uh, at Sandown. So we're going to sing happy birthday uh, to Ollie just before, uh, just before we go. All right. So let's see how we get on with uh, singing happy birthday. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll give it a go. Oh, we need to. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oliver. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Now that just reminds me. I think. I think that Micah, Micah Saunderson had a birthday last week as well. Micah maybe turned five last week. If I saw that correctly. If that's the case, a very happy birthday to you as well, Micah. So we're going to sing happy birthday to you uh, as well. So happy birthday to Micah. That's Micah Saunderson. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday dear Micah. Happy birthday to you. Fantastic. Well done. It's been one of those nights, folks. But hey, it's been good to be here. So thank you for being with us tonight. Don't forget, get your favourite verse, your chorus that you want us to sing for next week. Get it in before Friday. Get your memory verse, get your colouring pages in uh, as well as quickly as you can. And that'll help us get the whole programme put together. Next Tuesday night is the last Explorers Club. So we want you to tell everybody. We want you to make sure you tell everybody. Share the message. Send it. Uh, to all your friends, get your mummies and daddies to send it to everybody and let's see if we can get such a big crowd uh, even watching next Tuesday night for the very last exp online Explorers Club and uh, we'd love to have you with us, you tell others and let's get them in and let's hear them and tell them about the Lord 
Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, thank you for being with us tonight. Mums and dads, thank you as well. The Lord bless you all. Keep you all saved. Keep his hand upon you. And most of all, if you're not saved, why not even tonight ask Jesus Christ into your heart to be your saviour. Thank you tonight. The Lord bless you. God willing, we'll see you all next Tuesday night. Bye-bye.